Why did you get involved in this project? I wrote Rebels Without a Clue, literally in, in mind as to what could be made as cheaply as possible, and therefore the locations were all on the moors of Northern England, Saddle of Moors, and um, therefore I came up originally with it was going to be a true drama, it was actually going to have a very, very sad ending and deaths in it and so forth, and as I was writing it, it just, or as they do, take, took on a life of its own, and um, basically became a, a dark comedy, and um, so it was written purely in mind at the standpoint of, hey, let's not write big, let's write what I know I could control and write earn as little budget as possible and in the end the, the budget came out to £100,000 and I, I uh, part financed it by remortgaging my house and duly put in the bulk of the finance um, to cover it and obviously all without distribution. What was the casting process like? Casting was the biggest problem because there was so little money um, I ended up doing the job of at least 10 people casting and Julie, Julie helped with the casting on when we had a big casting day to cast. We were looking for specific people uh, and we still didn't have a wonderful amount of people when we did cast. And the main the main four members of the cast, uh, the two boys the two girls, uh, the character playing Damien, Stefan Gomes, he, I already knew him and uh, I knew he was great, he's just such a lovely guy, everybody likes him and, and the character was so close to him I only had to tweak a few lines. Um, Rick Barnett who's, who plays Mark um, was the hardest one to find and it was the 12th hour that when we did find Rick. The two girls, um, I teach acting for the screen as well so there's a number of actors in there that I teach and um, but the Lucy plays uh, Kylie, I, I taught her and I knew exactly what she could do. The girl who plays Beth, uh, the punk if you want to call her that, uh, who is a lovely girl, she was sort of fresh out of university and uh, very, very raw but it, uh, you know, it was great to be able to direct her and uh, she was a joy to work with really. So. What do you hope the audience takes from the film? Enjoyment. Um, I'm not really one for films that are downers. I like films, not necessarily with a happy ending, but a film you feel fulfilled and um, escapism. And so to me, there's no morals behind it, apart from the fact that, um, you know, teenagers can be stupid. Um, but that's half the fun. Um, but that said, you know, they, they, they muddle through and they do um, figure the problems out between them. Oh, I agree with that. Is there anything else you'd like to add? Um, I'd love to thank Raindance. Um, I was amazed that uh, the film got in, but the fact that it got nominated for Best UK Feature is incredibly flattering, and it's up against some very big weighted uh, films with, with also with big budgets, but it's not about budget. Hopefully, Hopefully it could do well, so even if it doesn't, thank you for the opportunity, really. And I would, I would just add that it, thank you also to, to Rain Dance and, and hope that this is a, a launching of um, something bigger for the film, because I think it deserves a theatrical release, and obviously we have an interest in, in getting there as well, so that's, um, that's our goal now, and fingers crossed. Thank you, Rain.